This video is from a stream I did about a week ago, when I sat down here at 9 in the morning, booted up my stream, I hadn't even drank my coffee, and my first opponent was extremely suspicious, and this is what happened. So we ran into this guy in the 3 minute pool. By the way, if anyone's just getting here, I just literally seeked the game and got this guy, and I, I saw that he was, you know, untitled 2700, went to his account, December 2020, this, you know, I, I, I'm really suspicious when people are exactly at their peak rating. Now, this person wins, like, I don't, I, I'm not very good at math. That's, that, that's a lot of games. And, and then, um, again, if, if we go through every single game, here's a game they played at 95. Here's a game they played at 92. Here's a game they played at 92, 98. Wow, they beat someone who played at 98. It's the best chess game of all time. So this person has never played a game under 90, ever. Like, ever. I haven't seen this person play a single game yet under 90% from their entire profile of games. In game, look at this, every single time they play. I don't know if this is like an anonymous grandmaster, but I'm gonna tell you guys right now, they have not ever played a game. Let me check a loss. This person has never played a game below 90%. I mean, I wish my chess was that good, you know? All right, let's, let's take a look at a game that they lost. So a couple of things might happen here. They either lost this game at like 10%, you know, like a really, really low quality game, or they, they had a really high score, and then they just got really low on time. Let's take a look uh, at, 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 at a game they... Um... Okay, so this game they played at 87. When were the inaccuracies made? Okay, so already the opening is very strange. What is this? Very strange opening. Okay, g3 is a very weird move. I don't know what well, I don't know what that is. I mean, ve very strange moves indeed. Oh, I know what gives it away. Let's take a look at the time management. Five, three, three, three. Four, three, six, four, four, three, four, five, three, three, four, three. This person has never spent more than six seconds on a move. So every move between three and seven seconds, right? Which human thinks of G? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's another, that's another concept of this game. Look at what this computer did in the middle of the game. It, it found pawn up, pawn up, and then marching the king over here. So this is what we're going to do. So I was already suspicious of this person's history and profile. And what I decided to do now was to watch their game in live chess and match up their moves to the computer moves. I'm going to turn on the engine. Let's go take a look. So obviously black is winning. Okay, so take takes, queen h4, queen h2. And then they played queen b4, which is not even a move according to my engine. What, it, what even is this move? Are they going to play rook c8 or f5? One of the... T oh, okay, okay. All right, I like this. Uh, th th this to me is the best. Wait, was knight f6 the best move? Okay, knight f6 was one of the best moves. So my computer didn't even see that knight f6 was possible. Now, white is going to play very, you know, closely to this person, because white is 2,700. We haven't seen a hot, you know, um, oh, I guess the first cheater video I ever made. Okay, so of course you're going to take and then play rook c8, right? That's what the computer wants. Now you're going to play rook c8. Just... <laughs> oh, yeah, yo. Oh, my God. I want to get a game against this. I, I want to try, try to beat the cheater, you know? I made good content last... Now king g7, rook c4, or a6. All right, there it is. Of course, because this move somehow makes sense. Right, uh-huh. Yes. Now, rook c5 or rook c4? Yeah, come on. Let's see. Yeah, good man. I don't understand the point of this move. Maybe you're trying to go here? No, go, is he going to go back? That is so computer-like. Okay, okay, he plays the second move. Plays the second move. Okay, now rook c8. So now our computers might be saying different stuff. Plus, if this... Pro oh, queen e1 just got blundered. Uh-oh. Black sees it immediately. Oh, that, okay, it, what, what was rook h5 on the hierarchy? It wasn't up there. I actually have a feeling the person playing with black is, um, is a strong player, smart enough 
uh, to not always play the top engine move. So this is the problem. If you're, if you're like at 1200 cheating, you, you just play the top move. You don't even think about how ridiculous the moves look. But if you're a strong player and you're cheating, you can at least handle some moves on your own, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Like, you, you can find the move Queen E1, right? Like, that's not a hard move. And then you're like, well, obviously, I'm not going to go Knight E4. That's ridiculous. I'm going to go Rook H5, Rook G5. That's Black's idea here. Um, and at the same... And, and again, like, you're going to get caught regardless because, you know, Gotham is going to hunt you down and beat you with his bare fists. Now, once this person finished the game, I was able to use a certain command that I have because I'm a streamer and I have to do sub battles and it forcefully starts a game between myself and this person. We had already been paired in one game before the video began, so I figured it only made sense to get them back in there with me so I could expose them. Now, these two games end up being pretty exciting, even though in the first one I do something really stupid but that's probably because of the lack of caffeine okay yeah so white's just stalling the clock out all right so here we go uh i've uh i've submitted this person for a game against me this person's probably very confused this per person's probably like i didn't sign up for this why, why don't i said vamos in uh in uh game chat okay here comes d3 i'm gonna go with my patented hippo we gotta go for the hippo oh is this person gonna hang their bishop this person just played so well in a game ah that they didn't hang their bishop okay so i'm down i'm up 30 seconds on the clock so far it's i can't really tell if my opponent is actually like i honestly can't tell if they're if they're using an engine I, I'm I'm starting to get weird vibes, but we're still in the opening. An obvious whoa. I'm a little bit afraid of taking this to be honest. But isn't this just a free pawn? Or am I getting engined? That's just a free pawn. Like I'm I'm pretty sure that was just blundered. Maybe this person is, is on their own is quite feeble. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm a little bit... The reason I don't want to take this is, is computers are crazy. They're going to play like F4 and open up my position. Like, what it... Knight H4 is a wild move. Uh-huh. I almost don't want to castle. I'm a little bit too afraid of castling. Let's go F5. Let's create a, a corralled pawn structure. And then if white plays F4... Okay. So the threat here is if H6, there's this. Uh-huh. What if I castle? So again, if F4, I'm going to close the position with E4. Um... Let's get my queen out of the pin. That also could have been a deliberate way to throw away the... Oh my god, immediately punishing me for moving my queen. Oh my gosh. Actually, I'm in, I'm in a little bit of trouble here, to be honest. Because if I had moved my rook, there would have been this. Oh my... Oh, oh, oh my... Oh my god. Are you realizing how strong this is? Computers are crazy. What a move. Oh my good. Okay, I gotta find a way to make sure everything stays closed. So I'm sacrificing a pawn just to keep the... Okay, oh, there's 96! I hung my... I didn't realize that was gonna happen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. Oh my goodness. I just thought that they were... Uh, of, why did I pre-move against the computer? That was so stupid. That was not smart. Oh, goodness gracious. That was just, that was so stupid. I should not have done that. I'm going to lose. <laughs> I at least thought there was a chance of flagging this account, but I, I don't think I can flag with, with 80 seconds on the clock. Oh, that was so bad. It's okay. We'll still probably put this into a YouTube video just to make me look stupid, but why did I? I'm playing a cyborg and I played a, a pre-move. I mean, I deserve to lose, to be honest. Yeah, of course, white just opens up the position immediately. Um, okay, let's go g5. Of course, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely very much losing, but uh, we're going we're gonna to try our best. Let's attack this queen. My, I mean, my opponent is spending a little bit of time, which makes me think they don't know how to mate with, like, you know, 90 extra pieces, which is good. They're still, they're still really taking their time here. Okay, I'm going to stop pre-moving. I got to learn my lesson, right? Like, I got to stop. Rookie 6 is going to happen. Yeah, this is... This is bad. 
This is bad. Probably losing your queen against the robot is just not... It's just not smart. Now they're going to take take and go rook f1 is what they're going to do. Take take, rook f... Okay, the fact that white even played rook f1 is just so sad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, without even... And I can't even take it because of the pin. Gross. Oh my god. Not even taking my rook, giving me a check, leaving the rook hanging. The computer doesn't even realize how ridiculous this looks. Oh god. That's so funny. Oh. You see, like, people who cheat don't even realize how absurd their moves are. Oh, please take, oh, don't, any human being would take and then take. Why would you leave me with a rook? Queen f5, of course. Okay, now rook f7. Okay, and, and I, I actually think I'm playing somebody who's strong enough to mate, like, and doesn't need, you know, this is mate in one, by the way. If it's a bot, it will play it. Yeah, of course. That was, that was rough. That was rough. That was, uh, that was, you know, that was an interesting game. That was an interesting game. With the exception of the first blunder early, which was just a terrible blunder. Um, let's, try, let's try that one more time, and then let's try not to blunder a queen. So obviously in that game, white played a couple of really obscure ideas like this night jump, but my pre-move did me in. In this next game, and then the analysis that I do afterward, you're gonna really see how absurd some of the ideas that my opponent came up were, and their untimely demise. Let's go. We have a rematch. Oh, okay. Interesting. Trying to be very non-confrontational here. Gonna go h4, take a little bit of space. Yes, no pre-moves. No, that was just so silly. I just, my, my mind last game was like, oh, my opponent's gonna take my, my opponent's going to take my uh, pawn. But then I realized there was a fork and immediately as I pre-moved, I just, I, oh, this is good. This is what I want. This is what I want. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go h5. If g5, probably like h6. So the, the, the thing about these, these positions is that pawn breaks are like, okay, if you take just g4, so... Let me see your human side. Uh-oh. Nope, no human side here. I thought we were gonna see, uh... I thought we were gonna see, uh... Yeah, see, now there's going to be, like, crazy defense. As you could see from the last game with this knight b5, knight d4 maneuver. Um, yeah. The bots come up with some pretty crazy ideas. Oh, my God. Do you see? Oh, God. Crazy. And, like, if I... It's nuts. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Let me take and go here. Okay, let's close the position. Just close it, close it, close it. And then move my king out of the way of the pin. Okay, so now it's going to be a very, very difficult decision. Oh, if I play a4, there's knight b4. Of course, black starts the attack on the other side of the board immediately. Oh my gosh, I already feel this slipping. This is crazy. Knight c1? Every move is just coming so fast. What? Wait, what happened? <laughs> oh my god. Merry Christmas. This guy was a gold member for a while.
I guess those chess.com premium lessons uh, really paid off. <laughs> this man got booted out of the bar as he ordered another drink. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Well, you know. I feel, you know, I feel as though we should probably analyze, like, a few of those games. Um, just to take a look at, you know. That, that was very funny. Oh, that's so hilarious. So, of course, we took a look at the earlier stats already. Uh, but now, you know, let's run game reports on these games. So we're going we're gonna to run a game report on, uh, on the game that I had black. And then we'll take a look at this game where I, uh, where I had white. Now, I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious about something in these game reports. Uh, really, the, the most important thing for me is not always the accuracy, but just trying to show you all, like, how, how people think they're slick. And especially, like I said, especially the stronger players that are also using an engine, um, th like, they think they're really clever because they can infuse some of their own moves with the computer moves. So look at the first game. I played at 88. I played at 88 even with losing a queen somehow. So maybe the cap score is... Uh... Now someone in the chat says, I played at 99.4% yesterday. I'm scared that I'll get banned. Or 94%. Look, um, I'm just going to say this. Public service announcement. Uh, I'm going to go full screen for this just for dramatic effect. Um, if you play at 94%, you are not going to get banned. Oftentimes, what that is a measure of is a response to your opponent's moves. Okay? If your opponent plays terribly and you get a really high score, that's not a problem. Also, chess.com is smart enough to realize that if you have a statistical outlier of a game, it's all good. You didn't cheat for that one game. Now, the difference in this case is the fact that my opponent literally did not have a game below 90%. Now, I don't care how good you are. You're gonna have games below 90%. Like, you know what I mean? There's going to be a game you get distracted by your dog or your kid or, you know, your spouse or, I don't know, yourself. You walk in and, and you're playing chess on your phone. You look in the mirror. You go, wow, I'm so handsome. And then you get distracted, you know. Anyway, um, so, like, yeah, Hikaru, like, in my, in the ga in my YouTube video against Moist Critical, uh, Hikaru played at, you know, 48%. Like, what? How can that even... What? And Hikaru made a few inaccuracies on the way to trying to see if Charlie would find those moves. If you, you know, watch the video, um, you'll see that, you know... But that's the point. Anyway. Uh, okay, so D4 is the one mistake this person makes deliberately. And then watch as my opponent plays right. Like, what? Like, why would you go Knight H4? First of all, like, we're taking this move for granted... But, like, why would you do that? Like, why would you play that move? Why would you play that? Why? Right? And then, this is the maneuver that gives it all away. Knight b5, knight d4. Th this, to me, spotted... By the way, look at the time usage. Three seconds? Three seconds. Right? Look at, look at this. 3-3. Three, three. I did notice that when the video started, my opponent was taking between three and six seconds every move. Um... And then, you know, five seconds on that. And then here I just made this mistake. I just, I, here I just thought that they were going to take back. And then they took my queen in two seconds. Which is one of the reasons why I think that this player actually does have a little bit of an understanding of the game of chess. A little bit. Because, like, they at least, you know, were like, oh, I'm going there so I can, you know. Because if, if a person's just, like, five, like, five, six hundred, they're just cheating. They're going to be like, knight e6. Why am why am I going 96? Oh, to take the queen, you know? So, there you go. Um, and in the, in the second game, you know, Black uh, in the opening suffered, you know, because Black is... He deliberately was playing stupid stuff, like with, his, with the king moving. Um, but notice what happens later. Like, look at, look at everything else. Like, Rook there, right? Bish like, Bishop G4 apparently is a good move. It looks like a waste of time, but it's the best move because it induces a pawn move, which supposedly weakens my dark squares. And then knight to... Yo, who in their right mind plays the move knight g8 in this position? This is the subtlety of, of a cheater. Is like, some moves you go, what? What? How does that move even begin to make sense? And then it becomes clear. 
a few moves later, bishop to h6 makes me move my pawn forward, blocking the bishop. So the bishop goes back because now when I pushed my pawns, my light squared complex can be taken advantage of. And that is why the computer wanted knight g8 a few moves ago. And now the knight jumps in and trades itself. And now black is better. Of course. Of course. Yes, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and I love how people in the chat were like, Gotham? But Gotham? Gotham? What if he's not a cheater? Stop accusing everybody, Gotham! It's not fair! Well, ladies and gentlemen... Yeah. He was.